Hi everyone, I'm making a 3D game in C++ and OpenGL. Let me launch it, so that you guys can see. So yeah, this is the world that you're responding to. There's some terrain, and I can look under it. Yeah, that doesn't look pretty. Anyway, so there's some land. It's been generated procedurally, which means that the computer creates it. And the way it does this is, let me show you. So, master renderer. Let me comment, uncomment this thing. Okay, so now what we've enabled in OpenGL is a feature that basically tessellates everything into triangles so that you can only see the lines instead of being able to see the full triangle. And you can kind of see it from here that the terrain is really just a grid of heights. And then what my game does is it converts these into a format where OpenGL can render them, which is pretty cool. And yeah. I have a couple of basic forms of lighting so far, which are diffuse lighting. That makes it so that one side of the player is darker than the other side. That makes it look a lot more realistic. And I also have specular lighting, which means that a model can be reflective of the light source and that's really useful for creating things like axe blades and metal stuff because metal is a really reflective material. So specular mapping is where different parts of a model can have different luster values which means that some parts can be shinier than others. So if we look at this axe, that's what I did to make the blade really reflective whereas the leather grip and the iron handle aren't very shiny at all. And this is the specular map that I used for that. So these are the edges of the blades, and this is the blade. So they're a lot more red than the handle, and the leather would be over here. It's completely black, which means it's not reflective at all. And that's how you can basically change the amount of brightness in the model, which is pretty nice. It creates a pretty realistic effect. This is really, really basic, I know, but I plan to add tons of stuff into this, and that'll be pretty fun. But this is all I have so far. So thanks for watching this video, and bye! See you next time!